If you want to support the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications, and possibly join to help the development of my bank account. Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I will be showing you how to get a bot embed looking thing on a user account. It's completely free and it's not against Discord Terms of Service. You don't even have to code anything. It's very simple, let's go ahead and hop right into it guys. So we're going to be using this nifty little website called embed.roth.wtf. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, so it's a pretty cool like little embed generator and it'll generate some special like uh, URLs that you have to put in your Discord message so it looks like you actually did the embed. Um, so what you want to do is go to this link, it'll be in the description below, and the domain to use, just keep this on the first one because I don't know what the other ones do. And the this author text is the white text that you see right here. So the author text is white and the title text is blue. The author text uh, has like unlimited characters and the title text only has about 150 characters. Those are like the limits for those two options. So personally, I type in the author text just because that gives me more freedom of how much I can type. Yeah, so let's just say I wanna type when mom won't clean my room. And keep in mind, don't use the question mark or the ampersand symbol because that might mess some things up. So be careful you don't use any of those and you should be good. For the title text, let's just go ahead and do something like haha funny meme and then put some D's down there looking. So the color, you can customize the color. So you can either enter like the hex code uh, if you have it directly or you can click on this button. It, this is what I do. And select which kind of like color, I guess, gradient you want and then you can move this little thing around. So if I want to do orange for example because I'm a normie that stays on reddit all day we can do orange keep in mind all of these fields are optional um, so for the image URL I have a funny little image right here so what you can do is right click and copy image link and then you just paste that full link right there redirect URL I'm not really sure what this does but I mean just you don't have to put anything there but if you want to have fun with it so now it'll have generated URL and it's going to be this probably big, maybe small uh, URL. And what you can do is, I like to do this first before I put it in Discord, just go to it and test it. If it looks something like this, then you know it worked. Um, and this page kind of explains some more about it. And then it'll redirect back to the homepage. So now we can paste that URL into Discord. And you'll notice that the URL actually gets hidden and it's just this. And if you want to edit it and add some more, like say I want to remove the title text, I can just completely backspace that up to the first parameter question mark and then enter that. And now the title text is gone and all there is is the author text. So this is pretty cool. There are some drawbacks though, such as you not being able to use uh, like Discord Markdown um, and I mean, that's the only bad thing about it and like the character limits, like I explained earlier, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure if this site might like change or whatever. So if it does, I'll obviously make an updated tutorial. Um, and yeah, so I will leave a little pastebin to all of this in the description below too. It kind of explains, like it gives a full example of using everything on the URL. And then it explains what each part does for your convenience. So I, oh, I also forgot you can do new lines. So say I want to go back into discord and if I want to split and go to like a new line, like I press enter on my keyboard then I can do that slash in and when mom won't clean and then my room is on a different line. So if you're like good at programming and you've already known like all these slash in shortcuts and all like how to use URL query parameters, you should be pretty good at it. Um, and yeah, honestly, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you click that join button. Let's go ahead and get some members, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodly-doo!